In today's video, we get to watch one of the KOG glass blowers make a mouth blown Christmas ornament. This particular ornament will be teardrop shaped with frit swirl. Frit is simply sheet glass that has been ground up into tiny pieces. The swirl part is so called because of how the frit will wrap, or swirl, around the finished piece. Our artisan begins with a gather of molten glass on the end of his blowpipe which is a hollow metal tube with one end built up to hold the molten glass and the other end having a mouthpiece. The gather is carefully dipped into frit, turned over, and then dipped into more frit. The glass will quickly cool enough to become unworkable, so several trips to the glory hole will be necessary during the creation of this ornament. The glory hole is a small furnace that the glass can be put into to keep it at a malleable temperature. The glass has to be kept in constant motion or else it will become misshapen. As Jeff spins the glass within the glory hole, you can see the darker frit on it as it moves. The glass is now rolled onto a small marvering table to begin giving it shape. Next, we see why this art form is called glass blowing. Our artist blows a gentle puff of air into the pipe. Once his breath reaches the molten glass, it expands due to the heat. This expansion creates a glass bubble on the end of the blowpipe. More breath creates a larger bubble. If you look closely, you can see that Jeff is constantly turning the blowpipe, even as he is breathing into it. The ornament will get a few more puffs of air, with a trip to the glory hole after each. It will be tenderly shaped into a sphere during this time, with a tool called jacks. Once he is satisfied with the overall shape, Jeff then begins to alter it by using the jacks to pinch, pull, and twist the end of the glass ball. He measures the decoration and removes excess glass from it as needed. The pointy part is cool enough to break off. A hand torch will be used to heal the tip. When the ornament meets the artist's exacting standards, it is ready for the next step. If the ornament is going to be iridized, that will happen now using a small atomizer. After any iridization has been added, the decoration is then transferred into a padded mold to hold it steady while the top is added to it. The top is a dollop of glass that serves two purposes. First, it closes up the hole that was created when the ornament was removed from the blowpipe. Secondly, it is formed with tweezers to provide a place to attach a ribbon, string, or hook. The ornament will spend about a day in an annealing oven. This allows it to slowly cool down so it doesn't crack. Now we have a beautiful, mouth-blown, handcrafted Christmas ornament that is a unique work of art. Did you enjoy this video? Be sure to like it and leave us a comment too. Remember to subscribe to get the latest releases from Kokomo Opalescent Glass. You can also visit us at www.kog.com.